John Williams again for the Institute of Sports and Spines. Today we're doing a demonstration of an ulnar nerve flossing or neurodynamic mobilisation exercise. So the ulnar nerve supplies the medial border of the hand, so the fifth finger and the median border of the fourth digit. So we use this exercise for people with disc bulges, prolapses, maybe some degenerative stenotic change in the neck or for entrapment syndromes in the elbow and shoulder. So for the exercise, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. Some people like to talk about the OK symbol, and as we lift the hand up, up to give ourselves a pair of glasses, the ulnar nerve. We can also do it as a flossing exercise. It's a combination of how we would do the median and radial nerves. So sometimes we talk about the village people where we push the arm down in this position, keeping the wrist extended, fingers spread. What I describe with a lot of the mobilisation exercises, if you take it into a position that causes a spray of symptoms, try tipping the head to the opposite side, try tipping the head to the same side and see if that relieves the symptoms. What we're looking at doing is taking it right to the border of the symptoms and keeping it there as we move backwards and forwards so we distribute load on where the nerve is being compressed. So to do the exercise with the OK symbol, you essentially lift the hand up to the side and it's a movement of lifting and dropping, lifting and dropping. So we can also do it in this position where we have the hand in its extended position and we lift the elbow and we drop it and we lift it and we drop it. If that's well tolerated we can go the other direction where we lift and drop and lift and drop. What you're looking for is just the border of pain so it should st start to spray it shouldn't be severe. So that concludes our demonstration of ulnar nerve mobilization.